So Dancis, we finally arrived. I don't know what's this what's this thing in the sky? It's blue. I don't know. We didn't see this yesterday, that's for sure. Not all day. You kept telling me it was brightening. And I was just keep getting wet. It was quite right yesterday. Anyway, here we are. We're a good hour and a half before the start of the cross country, so we're gonna take advantage and look at some you can't obviously walk the lines because the course is closed, but have a look little look at some of the fences. So we're just gonna walk this little loop and show you guys this 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 coming up to the first water here so this is fence eight which is just a lovely straightforward brush on the upwards towards nine and then you get into a really serious part of the course and then we'll walk the leaf from back down then you come back down over this fence over here. So we've been playing a game called Olympic Fences I might consider jumping and that is actually one of them because it's, it's not very the only one. It might be the only one but so far. it's not very big, it's not very tall, it's not very wide. It's yeah it's just a nice brush. It looks nice. Yeah. Right. I don't think there'll be any more but let's uh, let's go have a look. Let's go and have a look. Fence number nine, it's just the rails. But Pierre Le Goupil is very renowned. I've had a long discussion with a couple of different trainers about this who are top of the game. He loves an oxer off a turn. And this so they've just very... come off uh, quite a sh sharp, like, pull, uh, what's it so called, hairpin turn, no, and then yeah. just up to a big beefy solid oxer, so... up a little rise, but the thing about Olympics is it's not five star level is it, it's just a four star level so it won't be huge, it looks big enough to me, but it is related to the next thing yeah because we've got the water coming up and it's a very so you he wants you to expand over the oxa and then you've got a very short um well more than like a related distance but you know it's very it's going to come up very quickly as then the water which then needs balance and control yeah so this is fence 10 a eh? i don't i think it looks worse than it actually is i don't think it looks too bad you don't like ditches though do you it's quite it's quite a soft size bridge, you know, it's only 115.20 at max. The ditch isn't huge. But then you've got the straight route is out over the skinny and then you turn in. Yeah, but it's quite a soft skinny in. Not super. Yeah, dep depends what they're looking at if they're looking at the crowd. And then the way out the sea is just there on the angle. So not super tricky for some of them, but enough. That's quite a sharp corner. Depends, you know, if you jump into the, the water a little bit overwhelmed, you might have to you've got to make up your distance quickly and that's quite, well look at the corner from the other side but it looks quite sharp to me. Yeah, and then if they don't um, come in off the skinny in, they've got the other alternative where you're going away from the crowd so they've probably got less to look at. Anyway, we'll go round. So from a slightly different angle, as you can see there are a lot of options. For A is the bridge and then B, they've got another option here to jump in and different angles to come out. So. It will depend on being competitive and how fast they want to go because it's quite early on in the course. So if they take a long route, it could impact later on. And at the early riders, nobody will know how long it's going to take to get around the course until a couple of beam rounds. The and long they... route is not much more friendly. It just gives yeah. a bit more time after the bridge, doesn't it? But the corner is just as... Yeah, see, you can see they've got very strategic place grass and that's what's going to make the angle on the corner more acute. Whereas this one hasn't quite got it. But they can also come out of the water here and then take the exit on grass, can't they? Because they can go around this, this way to jump that stadium. And then we've got the fence here, so it's quite a tight angle straight line so they've got plenty of time to set themselves up but yeah if the horse isn't concentrating it's quite easy to have a run out here or if they have been overwhelmed by what they've seen before i also think that kind of profile on the fence i don't know what it walks but they often sort of they don't jump them that well where it curves a bit like that so you might see one or two just leave a leg if the distance comes up a bit so we're just standing next to the fence they're actually just doing their sector briefings now so each fence will have water and ice just in caps in case the horse is put on hold They've got any screens for accidents, if anything happens to a rider. They've got a vet at every fence, a doctor at every fence. As you can see, they're just doing their sector briefings now. They've got police, security, jump judges and volunteers. So there's a lot of people here. The jump judges are set back just here. A lot of people here, you know, to 
maximum animal welfare and rider safety. Right, so this is not a jump as part of the course, but oh, look at the drone. <laughs> That's cool. Put the camera on it. Um, there we but go. this is a stopping point, so this will be one of the main points where if they have a problem further on in the course, they can hold a horse. Hence where they had the water and the ice and stuff. And then they can jump this jump if they want to before they get Go going on again. again. So if they've had a long hold particularly, you might want to just pop this fence. So it's not numbered, it's not flagged, it's just an option if you want it. If you want it, I don't think anybody probably would, but it depends how long they've been standing around for. Um, it's quite interesting to see it because we don't really have that in the UK. Events, do we? But we saw it at the Euros as well. Yeah, and that's uh, um, that's where they are with the sector and timings. They're all there, got screens in that little tent, and they're all very looking very fistious because uh, obviously a very clear stopping point. And then we can talk about it in a minute. Fence oh, no. 14, very straightforward table fence. Nice big table. We know Pierre uh, Le Goupil likes his bits of cloth, doesn't he? We saw plenty of that at Euros. Yeah, with the little tenty things yeah. that they had to jump, the white cloth. In the end, the white cloth at uh, Euros got pinned down a bit more. That looks fine. I think it's going to be a very still day. It's only if it starts flapping around in the wind, isn't it? I think it's been draped for, to cope with that. Yeah. So a second ago, you saw us with the video of um, people in um, wetsuits. And that is the specialist team for getting horses out the Grand Canal. <laughs> yeah, so we're about to cross the first pontoon and, uh, and they were a little bit worried that just in case a horse or rider or both went over the edge, which I don't think is possible, it's quite a high fence, but you know, horses are horses, um, that they might have to end up getting them out of the canal. So they've trained and rehearsed for such an eventuality and they have a team of people in wetsuits ready to spring into action if it does happen. Uh, yeah. It's all about health and safety. How do we get across the pontoon is the question. I'm not really sure, we'll go and find out. So yeah, the pontoon. I think they'll be fine. They've got similar at other places, haven't they? Yeah. And they tested it out at the test event, didn't they? So they know that it works. Yeah. Put some, some, they put some serious construction into this place because yeah. the stands are quite incredible. But there at the bottom, there's another. Oh no, that's not the water. Where's that? Uh, I don't know what goes on down there. Some, something goes so down. humans can't cross the pontoon, so we're going to have to walk down to the bottom to get across. Yeah. But probably we're going to end the video here because we can only got we've only got 5G to upload. So yeah. we'll try and do bits and bobs of what we can for the cross country because just in the distance there, you can see the steps. So we'll try and get our way around.